Yo, what is up, guys? Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create this. Now, first of all, this is a full tutorial on how to get SDO image and SDO two because everyone knows only SDO two can only get BMP files, BMP image, and no one wants BMP. We want JPEG, PNG. You know what I mean? All the good stuff. And I have finally figured out how to do it in 2024 because all of these outdated videos, there's a whole lot of outdated videos to installing SDO. And I'm going to show you guys how to do on Visual Studio Code. And let me just go and do an example and run this. So, make, make, run. And boom, we got Finn and Jake right here because I love Adventure Time. And as you can see inside our code, we're using image initialize JPEG. Image surface is equal to image load JPEG. So, let's go and start with the tutorial. So, first of all, go into your Chrome. Let's go and get a new file. I mean thing yes i do i do use this we're gonna do sdl2 first link sdl releases make sure that you're downloading mingyw.tar.gz boom download it's in our downloads now so we're gonna go ahead and open our downloads and we're just gonna put mfn2 the function button 2 f2 and this will let us copy the name. I'm gonna copy that. Go into your CMD. Go into your CD downloads. Go ahead and type CD downloads. This is basically you. We're just in the files, basically, but inside the terminal. Like <clears throat> so, we're just gonna make a new file by doing mk there. This creates a new file. We're gonna call it sdl2. You can admit anything, but I already have a file called sdl2. So I'm just gonna name it files now we have a new folder so we're just going to go and do a command called tar paste what i told you guys to copy then you're just going to put dot gz okay minus c this is basically going to say extract these into the new folder that we did so we have to put the new folder that we made sdl2 files and it didn't work oh i know why so we're just gonna press up on the arrow key to go back to this right here before sdo2 we forgot to do minus xv xzvf and then we'll get all of that running up and boom if we actually go right here into our downloads let me just delete that one we have a new file that we created in here and inside of it we have sdo2 and all of these it's already extracted everything so we extracted it so now we're going to make a new file now you can make this file anywhere it doesn't need it to be on your desktop call it folder Let's call it sdl2 development you can call it anything you want development i don't even know if that's how you spell it so we could go and open this folder and open the new folder that we made in our downloads sdl2 files press on this and this is for 32 bit and this is 62 bit or well, i'm gonna use a 32 double click on that one we're just gonna copy the lib and include okay into our sdl development so once we do that we're also gonna go into bin copy this one into here okay i accidentally copied it wrong because it removed it so just select these two hold control and copy into here so they don't get deleted here Go into bin, hold control, drag this one in here too, and boom, we're already almost done. So inside our development one, it's gonna go ahead and put new folder, and we're gonna call this one source. Get your include and lib, just add them inside your source, and boom. Now we're just gonna go inside CMD and just go ahead and It's really easier like this. Go into your SDL development, click on this, control C, CD, paste it in there. It's going to go into that directory. And we're just simply just going to put code and a period, and boom, it should open up Visual Studio Code. Now, before you do this, make sure you downloaded, you have MinGW downloaded onto your computer, okay? If you don't have MinGW downloaded, go look for a tutorial for that and then come back. Because you should be able to code with Visual Studio Code. 
I mean code with C++ now anyways new file main.cpp boom I'm just gonna include something like this old file that I already have made paste it let me just change some things up so we don't have image yet we only have sdl2 so i'm just gonna take that off and instead of image load sdl2 i mean sdl bmp load bmp change this into a bmp file add my fin and jake bmp file into here okay and boom everything's working so we need a new file called make file we need to make file and we're gonna i'm gonna put this in the comments just go ahead and copy this this basically links everything and does everything right so that our file could run boom save that let me just delete this because i don't have it installed yet and it should work so you just need to pull up to your terminal just copy anything that just makes a window. This might not work for you because you might not have a BMP file. Now if I go to do make, it should run perfectly, but there's an error for some reason. Can I, oh, I know why, because I don't have image yet, so let me just delete that. Can't link it because I don't have it yet inside my folder. So make, make run, and boom. As you can see, SDL2 is now working. But we can only use BMP files. We want to use the good stuff. PNGs, JPEGs. How do we do that? We got to download SDO2 image. So go to your thing. We're going to go ahead and type SDO2 image. Newest. Go into the first link. Releases. SDO2 image. Download SDO2 minjw tar.gz. It should download right here. Go into your files. It should be there now. Make sure it's image devel, not devel. Function 2, again, function T plus 2 or F2 if you have that on your computer. Copy it. I'm going to go back into the terminal. Clear. Make sure you're in your, inside your download file. It's going to do tar minus x zvf. Paste it in. Don't forget the point gz. Minus C, we're going to extract these files inside our SDO2 files or whatever you named yours. Boom. If it says image right here, then it's correct. If not, then you might have accidentally did the devel instead of image devel. So now that that is done, we go into our folders again. It's going to open SDO2 files. We're going to go into image this time, okay? And make sure it's the right version because if it's not the right version that you put for the first one it won't work so i first use 32 bit this is 62 bit so i'm gonna do 32 bit control copy these control c go where you got your new file for development just paste them inside source and they'll automatically go inside of those now we're almost done. Now we just need to go ahead and go into our downloads again. Go into your SDO2 files, image. Make sure it's the 32 bit or the bit that you used for the vel before image. Go into bin, copy this. And it's gonna paste it right here with the other DOL. And now it's almost done, guys. So it won't work yet. Because you have to link it right here. So minus L steel 2 image. That's how it should be. Now we could go ahead and add our new file. There's SDL2 slash SDL image dot H. Now to see if this is working, I'm just gonna uncover this. Make and boom, it ran correctly. Make run. Shouldn't get any errors. Okay. Now let's go ahead and load a JPEG. Simply just gonna change this into image load PNG. I mean JPEG. Oh no, just load. 
and right here you should put JPEG. Now if I run it, I should run my JPEG instead of my BMP make make run. And it's not working because we got an error. Because I don't have the JPEG file inside here. So that's how we know it's working. There wasn't no file in here. I'm just gonna go into my downloads, get my JPEG version right here, JPEG file. Paste it in here. Now if I run it, make make run and boom now we have adventure time jpeg style so now you could use pngs jpegs and anything with sdl2 now it's really weird because in the new tutorials they have all these other files like png jpeg and it's confusing me i didn't know so just wanted to help you guys if you guys have the same problem as me